Hey YouTube, it's your boy Rocket Ross here again. Um, today I'm going to be bringing you the actual tutorials for the new core corrections that I did um, yesterday. Um, I got quite good feedback from yourself, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to cover the three main ones that you asked for. Um, obviously, try not to give you too many at once because it, you know it get quite confusing. So, uh, what we're going to do, we're going to jump straight into Sony Vegas. Uh, I think the three ones that we're going to look at doing today is the well, the one that I called Aura, um, Sunset and I can't remember really what I call the third one, kind of like a, um, a foggy mist dream state kind of thing. So first of all what we're going to do is we're going to look at the um, Aura one. Um, first of all on the video uh, obviously we're going to take out the edges around the outside and uh, set it to upper field first, just the general stuff we do when we uh, get the normal video in. Then we're going to go to video effects. Um, I've already added mine so you can just add the correct ones. The first one is the color correction. Um, I've, the video I made last, so if you want to check that out, it shows you all these basic effects that we're going to be adding to get this, um, like the standard picture that we're going to be using in this aura. So color correction, and I'll just scroll down just in case you haven't seen the last one. Um, you can jot down these values, and then obviously you can go to preset and save it so you've got it every time. Uh, then we add the soft contrast. Um, again, you can just you know jot these down. I think the effects are the same. It's all the part on the uh, vignette that's different. So I'll scroll down on here. Just try and make this box a bit bigger. There you go. So that's the soft contrast one. Then onto saturation adjust. Uh, again, this is what we used um, yesterday. So there are the values there. And then just throw on a quick sharpen, either reset to none, or you can just add it like 0 0.113 something like that just a tiny bit of sharpen uh, then the next effect added was levels uh, this is my standard levels effect I use on pretty much all of my videos um, so you can see the values there and then finally for this one this is optional I did a lens flare just to kind of give it I don't know if you can really see it in the preview book it just gives it like an extra glow on the video like well, it's trying to just achieve the like the dream, you know, dream state effect. So I chose the sunburst eight element, and then I used these values with this kind of like light blue color uh, for the sunburst. So they're the effects, and then obviously we'll get onto how we actually got the the kind of aura effect, like the light blue and purple on it. Um, what I'll do, I'll just delete that first of all. What, so what we want to do is go to media generators and go to linear white to black and just drag and drop that on here um, <clears throat> so first of all um, you'll start off with two numbers they may be like right at the edge so just find those like a number one and a number two so what we're going to do is we're going to drag the number one to the top and number two to the bottom um, obviously I've used the kind of light blue and pinky purple colour you know you can use whatever colors you want to you know depending you know what map it's on and what effect you're trying to get so if I click if you click on the number one and then what we're going to do is we're going to select this kind of um, white blue color like that I'll do and then click on number two I'm going to grab kind of like a white pink ish color like that so obviously at the minute uh, let me just make this bigger so it covers the whole video so, so at the minute, it's going to look like that in the preview box, kind of bright, and you can't really see anything. So you're going to go back into this uh, video here, and hit down here at the bottom, it's add a new gradient color point, so put like a plus sign. So click that, and you've added number three now. Click it again, so we've got number four. So now we've got three and four. And what you want to do is drag them into that kind of shape like that. And then on number three, we'll click on number three, and we're going to drag it to black. The way this works is that black seems to be like a whole color, like no color in that specific point. And if we do the same with number four, drag that all the way down to black. We're then going to be left with this kind of <coughs> like um, bar effect where it's blue at the top and pink at the bottom. So now you can see in the preview box we've created this aura effect up here. Um, you can obviously you know play about how much you know you want it to like, encroach into your video 
like how much you want at the top and bottom. Uh, I think for me that looks pretty good now in the preview box. Um, so I'll just leave that one there. Right, and you can always save that at the top like right here. Now I'm going to. I haven't actually saved this preset myself, but I'm going to do it now. Um, so if we just set that as Aura and then click Save. So you've got that preset now. Close that down, and you'll probably find it at the bottom of your list. Here we go. So we can always just drag and drop that R on next time. <clears throat> so that's the first effect. The next one we're going to look at is the sunburst. And um, we'll just go to the video. I think it's pretty much the same effects that we've added before. All right, so I'll just go through them so you can jot them down. Color correction. Yeah, it's the same one we did yesterday and in the previous clip. Um, then it's onto the levels, the standard one I use on every video. Um, I've thrown a quick sharpen on there again, 0.015. The saturation just, this is um, not the one we did yesterday, but this is just um, one that I use in most of my videos just to bring out the colour. So you can um, jot those down or pause the video. Then onto soft contrast. Um, I think this is the one we used again yesterday and in the previous clip. So I'll just scroll down to so see those values. Yep. Um, the next one is rays. This is just kind of to add to the kind of um, sunset effect. You know, basically just adding some extra white lines uh, and kind of glare, we'll call it. Um, so there are the values there. I think that's all of them. Yep. Yeah. And then I'll just quickly go into the mask tab just in case yours isn't the same as mine. That's how I have it like that. Okay, next one. This is lens flare. This one's optional again. This is kind of, if you see in the preview box, it's added these white circles. You can play about if you know how you want that to look. Um, again, I've added the sunburst 8 element and obviously these values below here. So that's that effect. And then on to adding the actual sunburst effect um, again what we're going to do is we're going to drag and drop the linear white to black gradient like that onto there I've already done it so I'll just leave it there and then we'll go into the video properties um, this time we're only going to use number one and two um, I've set number one to um, kind of this orangey colour, orangey yellow colour and number two to black um, obviously, you can, dep you know, depending what map it is, you can, you know, make it brighter or darker. You know, it's entirely up to yourself. Um, obviously, one tip I suggest is that don't use the sunset effect inside. Obviously, because there's no way the sun's going to be able to get inside. So just bear in mind, try to use it on maps that are outside, like high rise, um, overgrown uh, maps like that. Um, if you wanting to use it in like a sequence of multi kills but in one of those kills you, you you know you go inside you can keyframe it in and out so as you see at the beginning of this video here um, let me just go back a little bit further like I, I start inside on high rise and all I've got now in the preview box is just kind of like a glow coming through the windows but obviously the more um, you know I walk outside I'll just try to use the arrow keys to go across it's starting to get brighter you can do this just by keyframing if you don't know how to keyframe, then uh, either watch my previous tutorials or you know search it on YouTube. So now, just as I've gone through the window, the sun the sun is getting much brighter now. Uh, so there, we're fully outside now, and you know we've got um, a really good sunset going off in the background. I mean, me personally, there that's a bit too strong for me, so I'd probably just push this number two up a little bit into the corner, like so. Yeah, that looks fine. Um, and obviously as you're moving about the sun's not going to be in the same position all the time so again you could do keyframing uh, move this number one over to the right say if you've got the sun there constantly in the level and just like add a keyframe here like that move it to the right and then obviously as you play it you know you're going to be going across the timeline and the sun's going to be moving as you are moving so it'll fit in um, you know, if you get if you struggle on that or anything, just you know, give me a shout and I'll try to explain that a bit more. But like I say, this is an advanced tutorial. Um, next one is going to be the uh, fog mist dream state, should we call it? Um, this one is totally customizable. It's just you know all the preferences you know that you want it to look like. 
Um, so first of all, just go to the video effects. I think it's pretty much the same as what we've been doing. Yeah, the color correction, levels, sharpen, the saturation just we used yesterday. Um, I think on this one, yeah, this is the standard soft contrast. Um, so you can jot those figures down. I mean, I'm going to just double check these ones because they might be slightly different. And then again, we've got another soft contrast. Um, the first page is always usually the same, it's the vignette effect. So we've got two soft contrasts. This is one of them, and the other one is just like that. So be careful when taking down these values, just make sure you've got those right. Um, if you can see in the preview box now, it looks kind of dark and grungy. That's the effect I was going for on this one, but we've still kind of like white, misty sky. Um, the choice is yours. Like, I've got this one here. This is the two soft contrast. If I untick this one, this is the one that makes it dark. So when I untick that, you can see in the preview box now, you get more of a, a brighter um, mist dream state. So if you to add the other soft contrast back on, this is I've called it white vignette. I've got a preset for it, so I've saved this one, um, and that just makes it look a bit more, you know, darker, grungier. I'll just tick and untick so you can see the difference. Like I say, it's entirely up to you, you know, what you want to add on to the effect. And um, so I'll close that down. <coughs> and the next part is adding the gradient. Uh, this time again just drag on the linear white to black gradient go into the video effects and this time it's just again number one and two kind of similar to the sunset one obviously this time just number one is the uh, I've gone for this kind of like just off white going to like light blue um, turquoise color and then I've set number two to black um, so you can push it up as much as you want depending on you want the skyline to kind of go bright misty kind of color See there, that's made it a bit, you know, darker. Obviously, if you want it brighter, just pull the number two down. Uh, pretty straightforward. Um, you, know, you can have a real play around with the gradients. If you want like a darker sky, use dark blue. If you want it to be a bit like, you know, murky, use like a red kind of blacky red color. You know, the options are you know, pretty unlimited on this with the gradients. Um, so yeah, they're the three, three main. They are the three main ones I've been showing you today. Uh, you know, I've got plenty more in the pipeline. I'm just gonna, you know, try to deliver it over, you know, a few days so you don't get too confused with all the ones I'm giving you. Um, if you've got any, you know, ideas of a kind of, you know, gradient kind of effect that you want, just send me a message and I'll try and make it for you. So yeah, that's it really. And uh, they're the effects. I'm also gonna be bringing out um, a super slow motion one uh, in Vegas, kind of like the Twixter that they use in After Effects. So I may be posting that today as well, so just keep an eye out for that. And um, yeah, just give me thumbs up, leave comments. Um, yeah, and that's it for today, guys. Cheers.